All right, thank you, Micah. And our coverage continues with ABC 27's Christian Thomas. She is in Decatur County tonight. Christian, what's the community that meant so much to Lieutenant Bedwell saying? Well, people in Brinson tell me that Deputy Bedwell was a familiar face around this small community. This news of the tragedy just shocking to this community, but they're coming together to make sure that they honor him. Monday, people in the small town of Brinson remembering Lieutenant Bedwell, even those who didn't know him, the community rallying around the Bedwell family, making ribbons, keychains and shirts to honor him and law enforcement. Members of the Decatur County Commission telling ABC 27 they're creating a fun box for them already raising $1,500 to help the family with expenses. Many people in disbelief that someone who kept them safe is now gone. My heart go out to them and I just want to keep them up in prayer because you know, these just a real loss. It's a tragedy that something like this would happen to him in the line of duty. It's really a tragedy. Right, and now Bug says she believes this loss will cause people to appreciate their local law enforcement. Ahead at six, we speak to someone who knew Deputy Bedwell on a personal level and his family. Live in Decatur County, Christian Thomas, ABC 27. And Bedwell served the Decatur County Sheriff's Office for 19 years, who trained many of the department's young deputies. He leaves behind a wife and a stepdaughter.